I'm logged into the languages at Warwick Mahara here. I'm going to go to one of my demo pages. So I'm going to come into port portfolio and pages, and I have a demo page here. And what I want to do is to show you how I've gone about inserting images within this page. As you can see, I've got two different image galleries going on here. So let's just see how we went about doing that. So first of all, in order to change anything on this page, I need to click the Edit This Page button. Uh, and then I'm taken to um, an edit mode. Now, exactly where and how these various widgets display will depend on the theme that's applied to the page. But in this case, they're running along the top here. And as you can see, there are different tabs. Now, on this first tab, the files, images, and videos, I find the image gallery tab. Now, in order to show any images, I need first to have uploaded those to the content area of my Mahara. Um, so I've already done that, and all I'm going to do is to drag the widget for the image gallery into the page. I might move the location of that in a minute. Um, I've then got a block title I can set. Well, I'm going to call this, um, uh, let's call this a slideshow. Okay. By default, it comes up as an image gallery, and the ones that you've just seen were an image gallery. Now here you can see I've got a folder within my files that are, is labeled pictures, so that's reasonably where I can expect to find my pictures. I have three choices here. I'm going to choose the um, individual images to display within my um, slideshow. And if I scroll down a bit, you'll now see that my individual pictures are available. And next to each one, a select button. So I'm going to decide which images I'm going to display. And the ones I want to display, I will then just click select. So let's just pick a few of these fairly randomly. So once I've selected them, you can see them jumping up to the top of the page here. Now the top of this page now shows the images that I'm going to include in my slideshow. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. You can see the style of display here and radio buttons. I'm going to choose the slideshow style, which will by default set a width of 400 pixels, but I can change that. So go and have a look, and then if you want to change it, you can come back in and change it. And then I'm just going to save. And if I scroll down here, you can see that my slideshow box is now displaying. Um, at the moment, I'm still in edit mode, so I'm going to click Done. Uh, and then go back into my page. And now, can you see next to my slideshow, there's a little arrow. When I click on that, it then gives me the chance to change the different images and to move through them. OK. So what I've done there is to create a slideshow and add it to a page. Uh, and just to recap, there are two parts to this. The first part is uploading the collection of images into your content area. And the last part, which is the part I've just done, is then to ask them to display in a particular way. So these are all slideshows. And you can see on this slideshow here that I've got a slightly different size of pixel display. But essentially, any of that can be changed. So if I want to edit this page again, this is my configure button to make any changes. So if I do want to change the pictures that are there, or I want to change maybe the size that it's displaying at, let's just change that to 300 and save it. And now if I come down, you can see I've got a smaller slideshow going on. Again, I click and Done. Go back into my demo page. and. That's the display. And really, the display information on things like this you can keep coming back to and trying. This is electronic paper. You can make as many mistakes as you like. Keep coming back, and there'll be no trace of them in the final result.